Time now for Conrad's Car Clinic, and you've got uh, just a few minutes here. Well, you know, I, I thought I'd talk about some of the weird options you could get and unique options you could get in the cars through history. You know, you got to remember back in... Um, Back in the day, you could actually get a radio or a uh, record album player in a car. Yes. And it had like a 13 cartridge album holder. And you could put it in. You could play your, be like your own DJ driving down the car. I always wondered how that worked as far as skips and stuff and, and rough rides in the road. You know, another thing was uh, Cadillac offered a magnetic glove box shot glasses. So the bottom of the shot glass had a magnet on it. Absolutely. And they, they stuck to the uh, the glove box when it was open. I thought, how, how unique that was in its day. Yeah. I don't know how many of them they made, but I imagine not many before the... I have one. The, the, uh, the Popo got involved. In 1956 uh, through 1960, Chevrolet offered a vacuum ashtray, which really sucked. Oh, boy. <laughs> But I knew it, that was going to happen. It would draw the ashes and the smoke in and store it in a little glass mason jar. Um, I, I would imagine it held. So, in other words, it's kind of like a car bong. A car bong. Yeah, that's right. Car bong. Um, and then in uh, <laughs> 1969, General Motors offered what it called liquid tire chains. And, you know, they sold it as an HC Delco product. And it was even available in the Camaro, um, the liquid tire chains. And Chevrolet advertised liquid tire chains in the Camaro. And it was like a little cartridge just plugged into the trunk. And it would above shoot the tire, on the tire. And it would shoot some kind of goo on the tire to help you with snow traction. Nothing like shooting I don't, goo. I don't think it was too effective, <laughs> but um, they, they offered it. They say it's quite a... Uh, a unique option if you can find one in a 69 Camaro. And then in the 75 through 86, Jeep sold a Levi's edition with a denim jean interior. Hmm, on a Corvette? Well, no, that, that one's a little out of, that might be my fault. It's out of place. Chevrolet offered from 77 through 81 on the Corvette C3 a towing package, if you can believe that. What are you going to tow with a Corvette? Uh, the little known ZN1 towing package cost uh, $355. It would fit onto your C3 only if you had the Jim Kahana suspension. You had Jim Kahana on yours, didn't you? I did. Did it? You didn't have the towing package. On I did it? not have the towing I, package. I could not imagine towing anything with a Corvette. But well, you could tow your BMW. <laughs> You'd have I, to I wouldn't have BMW. a BMW, okay. but thank you for offering. Well, so you know, an, another weird little option that they offered, um, and then the um, Holden Commodore offered a fax machine inside their vehicle. For thirty-three hundred dollars, don't know why. In ninety-seven through two thousand and one, the Honda CRV offered a shower that, when you opened up the rear gate, it would hang from the rear gate, and you could take a shower to wash your, you know, wash your shoes or your kids off. In the nineteen nineties, Chrysler offered the visor phone. Remember? Oh, sorry, I skipped through. Yeah, the, uh, the the visor phone was. Uh, you know, a lot of manufacturers offered phones. Well, you know, hey, your visor's ringing. Answer it. Volkswagen offered a collection of electric guitars that were part of an option package on some of their Volkswagen products, and those have become have become quite collectible as well. They actually offered a Pink Floyd edition Golf with a guitar that came with it. And then in nineteen in two thousand thirteen, the Fiat five hundred offered an espresso machine. That'd but, be fun. But no, know, the only problem is you have to stop every few feet to go to the bathroom. But forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> forget <laughs> That's about it. it. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh,